Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti from AnthonyMorganti.com. This is episode 134 of Lightroom Quick Tips. In this episode, we're going to talk about the new process engine that's found in the latest version of Lightroom, Lightroom Classic CC. Now, in the past, I've done several videos on the process engine of Lightroom, and all the process engine is, it's a group of instructions, machine code, that tells Lightroom how to process your images. And over the years, since Lightroom 1, Adobe has updated this so-called process engine three times. So now we're on version 4. Now to find the process engine in Lightroom, you're in the Develop module. Just go down to Camera Calibration at the very top. You'll see Process. And you can see for this image that I just took yesterday, it's version 4, current. And there were a total of four versions. You can see them in the little drop-down. Now, any new images you take and import into Lightroom from this point forward will default to version 4. Any of your older images will still have version 3. Now, according to Adobe, the only difference between version 3 and ver version 4 is the ability for your brush tool, radial filter, and graduated filter to use the new feature, that range mask feature. That, according to Adobe, is the only difference. But if you've been reading some of the Lightroom forums on the internet, there are a lot of people that are complaining that when they switch an image from version 3 to version 4, that there's been a color change or the tonal properties of the image have changed. Personally, I haven't found it, but I don't have a great eye for color like some people do. Some people really see color super well, and they could see a difference. And this could be a problem, because if you processed thousands of images for version 3 to your liking, and all of a sudden you're converting them to version 4, and the color changes just a little, or the tones switch just slightly, that you, then you're going to have to go in and reprocess it to your liking. So that is a problem. A lot of people are finding that. Well, there's some issues here. We're going to talk about them. First of all, when, as I mentioned, any new images that come in automatically go to version 4. So you're going to process from beginning to end right in version 4. Any of your older images, like this image here is an older image taken some time ago, and you could see that process is version 3. Now, if I want to convert this to version 4, it's actually very easy. If you look over here at the histogram, you could see on the right-hand side there's a little lightning bolt. And if I hover over that, it says process version 3. So that's telling me, that lightning bolt tells me that this is an older process engine uh, applicate, applied to this image. Now, one real quick note. It's only going to be in the develop module. If you're in the library module, the histogram won't have the lightning bolt. It only will show up when you're in the develop module. Now, if I want to convert this image to the latest process engine, I could simply click on the lightning bolt. And when I do, this little dialog box pops up. And you can see that we have a number of things we could do. We could uh, review the changes via before and after. We could click the next checkbox to not show this dialog again, so it just automatically do the update when you click on that lightning bolt. Also, you could update all of the images down here in the film strip, so I could just do them all in one false swoop, which will save some time. Now, if you just want to do the one, and I'm going to leave the review changes via before after checked, you could just click here. So you get the before and after. Now, I can't see a difference. This is version 3 on the left, version 4 is on the right. Now, there's no way to revert back to it from this screen, meaning you just can't like click over here and be on it. It's just going to zoom in. So to get out of this screen, you could hit the D key on your keyboard, or you could go over here, this little icon right here, and click there. So if you hit the D key on your keyboard, you're back to the single image. And you can see now this image was converted back to version 4, or converted to the latest process engine, which is version 4. Now, a couple things. Um, you really can't switch it back to version 3. Uh, you can, but you can't. Meaning, I could go down here and just do version 3. Okay, now we're on version 3 and our lightning bolt is back, right? Let's even go to another image here. Uh, see we're on version 3 on this image? Uh, really, I could click on the lightning bolt to convert it. 
But really, the first, let's say I want to warm it up, and I just move a slider, it automatically switches it to the latest process engine, version 4. See that? All I did was move one slider a tiny bit. So there's really no way. I want to put this back to version 3. Okay, I'm back to version 3. Now, I make it sharper. Lightning bolt's gone. We're back to version 4. So you'd have to do like a bunch of adjustments in version 4 and then switch it back to version 3 at the end. And for those of you that see color shifts and or tonal changes, what's, what good is it? You really can't process your engine, your image from beginning to end while you're in version 3. Now, conversely, let's just go to another image to mix it up. Here's a version 3 image. Let's say I just want to do version 2. See how it changed a lot in version 2? There were a lot of big differences in the process engine from version 2 to version 3. So much so, the basic sliders are different. You can see it's now exposure, recovery, fill light, blacks. Now you can see we have our lightning bolt. If I hover over that, it says process version 2. Now let's make some changes. I'm going to move some of these sliders. I'm just arbitrarily just pushing them around, OK? See, our lightning bolt stayed. We're still in version 2. All right, now let me go to version 3. OK, now we're in version 3. Now, I'm j our lightning bolt's there. It says version 3. Now I'll just move a slider a little bit. It switched it. So it, there's no way you could stay in version 3. I mean, there's just no way. You could stay in version 1 and 2, but you can't stay in version 3. That is really causing an issue for a lot of people. So I want to make you aware of it, and that's why I'm talking about it in this video. If you've seen a big color change, and you just can't stay in version 3, I think it's really something Adobe should fix in the future, that if you want to stay in version 3, you should be able to stay there. Um, now, one other thing I found, I took this image yesterday as well. I uh, processed this image in Lightroom. In, it, it was imported in version 4. It was processed in version 4. And I sent it to On1FX to do just a little touch-up uh, to make it a little, I like the uh, dynamic contrast in, in On1FX. So I added some dynamic contrast to it. When it came back, I haven't touched it. It came back from On1FX and got re-imported back into Lightroom, automatically came back into Lightroom. If you look at the camera calibration, it came back in version 3. So that's kind of odd that, the, at least as far as on one effects is concerned, if you send a version 4 image to it, when it comes back into Lightroom, it comes back in version 3. So it's a little wacky. I'm not really sure. For those of you that could see color and tonal differences in your image, that would drive you nuts. You just processed it in um, version 4 sent it over to On1FX, maybe just added a vignette in it or something in On1FX because you like the way uh, the vignette, because I do, I like the vignette in On1FX better than the vignette in Lightroom. And then it comes back into Lightroom and all of a sudden you're back to version 3 and the colors and tones shift a little bit. That probably would drive you insane. So I just wanted to make you aware of that. So to switch them, again, all you need to do is find your little... Uh, like a uh, lightning bolt here, and you could switch them all at once. You could switch one at a time. And one real quick note, it doesn't matter, like let's go to here, it doesn't matter if you go to the history tab and you go back to the point before you switched process engines. Let's say to there, I think it was. Yeah. So if you go to the point there, and now we're back in version 3, as soon as you move a slider, it'll go away. <laughs> so you're back in version 4. So the history panel won't help you either. So I just wanted to make you aware of that and explain the new process engine to you. Hopefully you're like me and you don't really see a change um, you know, in the color or tonal values of your images when you switched from 3 to 4. Um, again, that probably has to do too with the quality of your monitor. If your monitor isn't very good, you might not see those changes. Whereas um, you know, on a high quality, high resolution monitor, you might be more apt to see tonal differences and color discrepancies between those two versions. So let me know what you think about in your comments below what you're finding out about these different process engines if you're having an issue as well. I'd be interested to hear. Thank you everyone that watches my videos. I truly do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon.